Hey guys, Jonathan here with TLD talking 2012 13 inch Retina MacBook Pro, which features a massive 2560 by 1600 display sandwiched into a 13.3 inch form factor. And the awesome folks over at TheVerge.com got some hands on footage with it, but I'm not completely sold on it yet. They ran some stress tests, they had GarageBand running while playing 1080p video simultaneously. They talked about how it didn't really lag, didn't really stress the CPU. But one of the big things that disappointed me on the new MacBook Pro, the Retina 13 inch that is, is that they don't offer quad core graphics or dedicated graphics at all. It's completely integrated. It's cool that you get SSD flash storage as a base configuration, but to me, it's almost a better value if you go up to the 15 inch Retina MacBook Pro. For 500 bucks more, you get a bigger screen, more pixels, a quad core CPU, and most importantly to me, dedicated graphics. So what do you guys think after seeing some footage? Does that Retina display justify the $1,700 price tag, or is it too much for a dual core CPU, no dedicated graphics laptop? Let me know with a comment down below. I will be picking one up to unbox and to review. So make sure to subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss that. And if you guys haven't checked it out yet, I'm also giving away a brand new iPad mini that was also just announced today. For details and info on that, go ahead and click this video right here. And I'll see you guys in that video with a chance to win a brand new iPad.